Hi guys, it's Azim again from netisco.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to install Eclipse IDE on our Windows operating system. So let's get started. For this, you need to download uh, Eclipse. From here, go to this download packages. And from here, select your operating system and the IDE that you want to download which is Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Download uh, either 64-bit or 32-bit according to your operating system. I'm going to download 64-bit. Because I have already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel this download and uh, let's uh, install Eclipse this is the zip file that you will get I want you to copy this into C drive or you can copy it anywhere but uh, I prefer it to in program folder copy it here continue Create new folder here and call it Eclipse. Right click on the zip file and then click on extract all and then just remove all of this. Then click on extract. Click on continue. Now it will extract all of these uh, files to this folder. Now go to this Eclipse folder and copy this Eclipse file. Close this and uh, paste shortcut. So our Eclipse IDE is ready. Let's uh, fire up our Eclipse IDE. Now to create your first Kotlin project in Eclipse IDE, first you need to install Kotlin plugin in Eclipse IDE. So to install Kotlin plugin, go to help, then click on Eclipse Marketplace. After this, click on this find box and type Kotlin and then click on this search button and you will get this plugin Kotlin plugin for Eclipse and this is from JetBrains click on install and it will install this Kotlin plugin in your Eclipse IDE accept this agreement and then click on finish Click on OK. Now restart your Eclipse IDE. Now to create your Kotlin project, click on this file, then click on this new, and then click on project. After this, search Kotlin here. And then select this Kotlin project, then click on next. Now write the name of your project that you want to create. Let's say my first Kotlin project. Then click on finish. Now right click on the source file. Click on new. Then click on this other now search Kotlin here and then select this Kotlin file then click on this next button and type your file name let's call it main and then click on finish
let's run it and then click on ok and here is your output so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching